2023-2024 elective ICT was this channel is ICT Dash Mathematics Explain, and I want you to like this video, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. Well, we won't waste much time, so let's move on to the essay part. Question 1A. The whole part was 30 marks. We were asked to explain backup storage medium. Remember that the question said medium, and medium is different from media. The underlying word medium is singular. Whereas what is is also singular, so our explanation of term must be also singular. Therefore, backup storage medium is any hardware device, singular, capable of storing data with softwares that makes redundant or duplicate copies of the original data or original file as a recovery data for future use. I repeated singular because we have to give what the question demands as an answer for full marks. A backup storage will be something like a reserve storage because when we have something and that thing destroys or gets damaged, we have to get an extra one which is of the same kind, which means that we make copy of the same file or data so that just in case we destroy our original file, we can have another one which should serve as the reservoir, that is the backuping. Medium is a material of empty space like channel. Hence, medium makes storage possible. Storage medium acts like a container. It's a device which acts like a container to store data or files. The word redundant or duplicate is the process of making multi-copy or two or more copies of an original file. And we can even do that with softwares. The best example is Google Drive. I know Google Drive can also store um, files and data, pictures, images, videos. It will act as a reservoir. So just in case there is a virus on your device, which can be smartphone or computer, Google Drive can help you retrieve your data. Hence, backup storage medium is any hardware device capable of storing data with software that makes redundant copies of original files and recovery data for future use. We are still on question 1 and question 1b ask state two reasons backup storage is necessary on a computer despite the presence of primary storage. We cannot rely on primary storage, that's why we have backup storage which means that there is data security and reliance on backup storage. We can rely on backup storage because we know that we are secure. That's why there's data security and reliance. Another reason for having backup storage is the management or the management processes. It plays data and file management rules by retrieving and accessing lost data on primary storage media. Most of the times, we consider storage of device. When we want to buy any device, we check the data or the storage capacity. So just in case my storage is becoming full, I have to free the space. Therefore, I'll delete some of the files. But backup storage is necessary because I can retrieve the lost files or I can get access to it later on. When I talk about data and file management rule, when I talk about this management, I mean that I have to delete some of my files or some of my data to free my space. I need backup. If I have backup, I can retrieve that file again when I want it. That is the data and file management rule the backup storage place. Moreover, I know that sometimes we can unintentionally delete some of our files or our data. In all, backup storage is very good or necessary. The question demanded two, but let me add one more to it. Using only primary storage without backup storage can put user in a difficult situation. Due to time consumption to search and to remediate technical operation to restore data, we have to use backup storage. Companies and institutions have records for their employee names, their income salary every yearly, what they spent on repairs and whatever. When 
unintentionally or intentionally they delete some file it will consume a lot of time for them to search it over and over again that's why they need backup storage hardware failure can occur at any point in time or at any moment when you use computers smartphones or laptop devices but do you think that if you have backup storage it will affect you no it will never affect you when you have backup storage this is one of the importance of backup storage we are still on question one c i list two examples of backup storage media the media is the plural form for medium usb flash drive flash memory external hard drives and even google drive there are some examples of backup storage media, but you have to choose only two from this um, option. II. List two features of primary storage media. Features is the same as property or characteristics. So, um, first the first feature of um, primary storage media is that they are known as the main memory primary storage media are the main memory two they are volatile example is ram ram is also known as random access memory that is the full meaning of ram so um primary storage media are volatile three they are fast Compared to secondary memory. Question number three. Question number three C. List two components in a computer power supply unit. One, transformers. What are transformers? Transformers are electrical devices that are used to step up or down electrical voltage. There are two types of transformers, the step-up transformers and the step-down transformers. They have their output and input voltage. We have rectifiers. What are rectifiers or what are the functions of rectifiers? When there is oscillation of electrical energy in the circuit, the rectifier converts um, alternating current, which is AC to DC. DC is direct current. Hence, we can say that rectifiers enable current to, to flow in only one direction. There must be diodes too because diodes help um, current to flow in only one direction. And changing from AC to DC also generates heat. We have filter and regular circuits too in um, power supply units. Filter and regular circuits. Question 3D. State two causes of computer power supply unit failure. 1. Environmental conditions involving tender and lightning. Lightning can strike a nearby pole or even our homes. Lightning contains high amount of voltage which can bring an increment in voltage in our electrical appliances, causing power surge. Our home appliances cannot hold that amount of voltage which should bring computer power supply unit failure. To produce electrical devices like power supply units, we think of thermal management factors. The machine works to generate heat and there are components in that power supply unit which also generate heat. So if there is improper thermal management, it can cause high temperature which can also cause computer power supply unit failure. Number three is high voltage which can destroy diodes and fuses. If measures are not taken, high voltage can even destroy that electrical appliances or our computer power supply units and even continue to destroy our home. Dust can also choke crucial parts which can decrease ventilation in the system of our power supply units. Hence, extra measures must be taken to prevent computer power supply unit failure. Please like this video comment let me see your comment in the comment section and please do me a favor by subscribing to this youtube channel thank you very much guys